Hey guys, it's Diane the Drawing Geek. Sorry, I, have, I haven't made a video in forever. It's just, summer has been too busy to call it a summer. Um, so today I have a little different kind of video for you all. And I'm going to be reviewing ah, some markers that I have. And also my favorite sharpener and eraser. So at my local art store, I have three of the kinds of markers that they sell. And the two most popular ones, I think are the Prismacolors, which I have in these colors, and the Copic Kaios, or Kaios, which I have in these colors. But I also have this um, Pigma Micron marker, which is just a really fine black tip, felt tip marker, and I have it in 03, which is great for doing detail work. And my favorite um, eraser that isn't a kneaded eraser, which I think are great for like highlighting um, on your drawings, but if you want a legit eraser that's really good at erasing, I suggest getting an art gum eraser by design. Um, I colored in that. It's by, no, it's by Sanford. Yeah, made in the USA. It's really squishy. Okay, so I don't, I don't know how much I can actually fit into this video, but I know I'm going to swatch these. So the first Prismacolor, I'm going to swatch all the Prismacolors. Um, so this is... Um, Canary yellow. Um, broad and... Fine end. Ultramarine. Broad end. Fine end. Really, really... Wait, no, that wasn't the fine end. That was broad. Ah! There's the fine end. Awesome color. Okay. True blue. Ooh, so pretty. Doing this like in a hurry. There's the broad. They didn't do a very good job there. But they're great that you can do broad or fine. I love that. It's like two markers in one. This is goldenrod. There's the broad. And there's the skinny. Or fine. And last but not least, spring green. I'm going to get more of these. They're amazing. Here's the broad end. Really pretty. And there's the fine end. Um, I love these markers because their color is just amazing. They blend, and but they do kind of smell. I don't know. They don't smell like Crayolas. They kind of smell... I don't know. They smell different. I, I know it reminds me of something, I just can't think of what. Now, the, um, I recommend these for things that you need to color boldly. I do not recommend them for skin tones. What I do recommend using for skin tones are these Copic Kaios, which in my art star for are more expensive than these. These were like $3.14 and these were like $4.20 each. So I love my Copic Kaios for skin. So they have a brush tip. So they have a medium broad tip and then the brush tip, which like... It's really cool. So, my favorite one for skin is E000. So here's the double, the medium broad. And, and then the brush tip is just really fine. And you can sort of create that kind of thing with it. And then um, I'll just do, here's an E29, a nice dark brown. Ooh. So amazing. I love the brush end. See, with this one, the brush end kind of tapers off, but with this, you see the difference? That brush end, the du the double zero versus that one. I don't know if it's just the double zero is like different, or if it's just the color, or if I have a faulty marker, or I don't know. This one is um, E37. Beautiful. And last but not least, again, is 100. Or 1. I don't know. It's weird. Just black. So beautiful. I recommend these for skin colors. And they don't smell... They smell kind of like alcohol. Or like, yeah. More than... Oh, oh they have names? This one is... Um, Skin white. This one is burnt umber. This one is sepia. And the black one is black. 
Oh, I have a pencil sharpener that's not like an electric one. Is this Helix one? I got it. I wanted it at school. It's amazing. Yeah. Little tidbit. Okay, now, so now I'm going to show you how the um, Prismacolors blend. And I'm going to be blending for you uh, ultramarine, ultramarine and True Blue. And a word of caution, make sure you have something underneath what you're working on or you're going to bleed like crazy. Or make sure you're not doing it on something that you really care about. Because they bleed so much. Oh my gosh. I'm putting this doubled up piece of paper and this brown paper bag under my paper. Nice protection. Okay, so... I'm going to first put on True Blue. I'm just gonna blend it all over. Yeah, so if you just go over the color until it's even, um, yeah, just like that, sort of. And then put the one you want to blend on top of it. Alrighty, so I am going to be blending burnt umber and sepia. Sepia. Sepia? I think so. Yeah, and I'm going to do it with the super brush and the um, medium broad just to show you. So let's do super brush first. So I'm going to lay this color down. And then I'm actually going to take double zero. Plus they had this super awesome brush tip. But if you're looking for just plain out awesome coloring, I'd go with the Prismacolors. See, they bleed too, but much, much better blending than the Prismacolors. Like, it's easier to blend. Watch this Pigma Micron for you. So it goes on really easily. You can press hard or light. Whatever floats your banana boat. So oh, let me go over this. So we have Prismacolors, Copics, Prismas Blended, Copics Blended, and the Pigma Micron. I will have more videos soon, so thanks for watching. Bye!